Hey, I'm Les. Welcome back to Redneck and a Hat. Today's video, we're going to be doing something, putting a little more color on this. Um, last video, I did the uh, engraving um, kind of to match the flat dark earth. And I don't know, I've, I've been debating on this uh, pistol grip. It's black. Same thing about putting a flat dark earth one on it to match. Um, I do have flat dark earth. Uh, trigger guard and which I do like that with with this black pistol grip but I wanted to see what it would look like with a flat dark earth pistol grip just to see uh, if I like that so anyway I got a Magpole um, mole plus grip it's a uh, flat dark earth and get it out here to show you but it's the plus grip, so it's it's kind of uh, a, a rubber. It's not really soft, but it's not plastic. Um, your hands uh, grip onto it a little better than than just the stock plastic ones. Um, it does have a storage compartment in the bottom, and new in the box. That's where they put your screw at is in there. But there is a spot in the bottom. Uh, big enough to put a cigarette or two and a, maybe a lighter or you could probably put maybe three rounds of ammo in the bottom um, but anyway that's about how big a size and of course the uh, that latches on pretty good I don't think it's going to come off unless you uh, break the tab on it or something but anyway I'm going to take the upper off flip this upside down so I can get to the screw on this uh, pistol grip to take out. just one one uh, little bolt in there the one I've got takes an allen so I'm gonna reach down there with the extension grab it pull this off slow and catch my spring that's up in the bottom of the grip. Don't let that little spring fall out. I'm going to reuse this spring in the new grip and you just slide it in that hole. It sticks out a little bit and when you slide this back down on the spring goes down in the hole where the little plunger indent uh, pieces that goes against the safety selector. Um, I'm going to use the new bolt that came with it. It's got an Allen plus a, a screwdriver slot. So you can use either whatever is in your range bag. Tighten that down, make sure the spring is not kinked or wedged in, in there. Tighten it down. Put the little cap back on. Now I'll try my safety, make sure the indent is catching right. Make sure it turns. Over now. 
like the feel I like the feel of this one it's kind of like I say rubber a little textured on the front and the back so yeah it's let me know what you think um, I'm probably gonna stick with this because I you know I, the color goes either way for me I guess but I do like this rubberized grip um, I've already got it so I don't think I'm gonna take it back and get a black one just like it I'll probably go ahead and keep this one but How it is how easy it is to change the uh, pistol grip just got to watch that little spring and if you flip it upside down after you take that off you got to watch that little indent will fall out where that spring goes up in the hole so don't lose the little indent in the spring you'll be good to go putting it right back together anyway I know this was a short video but hey it don't take very long to change one of these pistol grips and that was the only thing I was gonna do to it today and anyway make sure you guys subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time